The purpose of session starters is the topic for this discussion, where we will look at setting the climate for your presentations. We are going to concentrate on four purposes of session starters. The first one is to welcome the learner. The second one is to learn information about the learner. The third is to give information to the learner. And the fourth is to transition to the first learning module. We will begin this discussion with the role of graphics and music in your presentations. Music and graphics play a profound role in an adult learning environment. They can really do a lot to help bridge and connect you with your audience. First, music helps set a calming atmosphere as students arrive. It also helps put students at ease. Music that is upbeat helps to create energy in the group as well. I've seen studies conducted about restaurants that suggest that fast-paced music or slow-paced music affects the way people eat. Music can also be used as an auditory cue. It can tell what time to begin or resume a training session. Music can also provide a calming note. Instrumental music is less distracting than music with lyrics in learning environments. So you want to consider that when you put together your presentations. In the role of graphics, graphics can serve as visual reminders useful for reviewing course content. Consider a movie poster, for example. Movie posters will encapsulate the movie in one picture. Graphics is a very effective way to communicate a general idea of what the content is about. The purpose of session starters is to welcome the learner. This can be done in a number of different ways. In some of the courses I teach, I record a video or an audio or you can just keyboard a text as well. I prepare a voice thread to welcome the learner and ask them to introduce themselves as well. Most of the time, I will introduce myself first, then students will replicate my actions. You want to provide this as a simple icebreaker in an online environment where people can actually set up a voice thread or a discussion where students can have an opportunity to introduce themselves to one another and share some background information. So there are various creative ways that you can do that in a face-to-face -face environment. Online environments may be a little more limited, but it can be done. In the first session starter, if it's a face-to-face, -face, you want to arrive early for setup. Even in an online course, if it's a synchronous session, you want to make sure to prepare ahead of time. You want to make sure the equipment is working effectively, that the technology is fine, you are comfortable with it, and uh, that you are prepared with your slides or whatever you're going to use for your presentation. You want to be ready and available for those who will be viewing your presentation. Greet your participants and as they arrive, welcome them. Make sure they can hear you and you can hear them in an online environment. Obviously, face to face, you can shake their hands and visit with them a little bit. Ask them to answer simple questions. Make sure their technology is working in an online environment. That way the participants feel comfortable to participate as well. The second purpose of session starters is pretty straightforward, which is to get information about the learner. Allow them to share information about themselves. Also give them an opportunity to meet and greet each other so that they will feel comfortable in the environment. Whether it is an online environment or a face-to-face -face presentation that you are giving, Find out the motivation of the participants. Do they have to be there? Do they feel like a prisoner? Are, you, are they attending the course because their job requires it? Or are they there voluntarily? Do they want to continue to learn to be on top of their discipline or 
are they there to just learn some more information uh, to continue to grow and be a lifelong learner? What's their enthusiasm level? What's the background information? What do they know about the topic? What's their experience with the topic? This type of information could be very beneficial. The third thing to, is to get information on what their expectation. What do they expect to learn? What do they expect to do with that information once they get it? Will they use it back on the job or will they use it in their lives? So this can be very helpful and beneficial as you get started with your presentation. Uh, this will also help set the climate for the audience that you're going to be working with. Another purpose of the session starter is to give information to the students. In the last slide, we talked about getting information. And in this slide, the focus is on giving information. Share things to help them understand what the session is about. For example, sharing what will, uh, you will be talking about in the module or in the presentation. This will help them to be at ease and make sure everyone is on the same page. And then set the expectations. Um, we will talk about some things in the next slide in order to, to set the expectation or the tone of your class. Here are some things to give to or share with your learners. Share your credibility. Tell your credentials and qualifications. Let them know that you are qualified to teach them. Certifications or degrees that you have in that field and your level of experience can be shared with the audience you are presenting to. Also give them some ground rules. Do you want them to participate? Will it be a lecture and then ask questions at the end? Or can they interrupt you with questions throughout the presentation? Also, the responsibility for learning belongs to the learner, so be sure to communicate that to them. You can also give them some of the program information, such as the syllabus, so that they know the responsibilities for successful completion of the course. The names, dates, and information that you have for your course should all be contained in that syllabus that you give them. Also share any schedules that you may have for upcoming trainings. And you can furnish this with them by giving them a calendar. Um, now with electronic technology such as smartphones, social networking sites, and the like, there are so many ways that you can share the information. Giving information is important for your audience so that they understand their responsibilities. The fourth purpose of Session Starters is to transition to, to the first learning module. After sharing the introductory type information, build a bridge to prepare them for what they are going to be engaged in as you move into your course and into your presentation by providing an overview of what they can expect in the course. To transition into the first module, you can give them some focused activities, connect the learner to the content, and require learners individual attention as you move into the first module. As we wrap up this session, we've shared some good ideas concerning the role of music and graphics and the purpose of session starters. Three criteria for selecting session starters is to involve, uh, to make sure to involve everyone, to ensure that the activities are low risk and everyone is comfortable with participating, and then relate the activity to the content that is to follow. Show the learners that you are not going to waste their time with playing games and activities that are unrelated to the work. You really want to use the session uh, starter time to make sure your time together is effective. So use them to set up the ground rules, give information, get information, to share what the expectations are, and also to get to know your learners in that environment and to welcome them.